Hey guys, this is Craving Liaccio with AC Service Tech, and today what we're going over is a PTC thermistor, otherwise known as the PTC Start Assist. So we have a bunch of different versions here that we're going to be going over, and we're going to be going over the resistance values during testing. Now, the PTC thermistor is used in order to help start the compressor. This video is sponsored by our friends over at Danfoss, and you can access their free e-lessons through the link in the description section below. So the PTC thermistor right here is getting connected directly to the start and the run terminals. And you don't want to get that confused with this right here. This is a current starting relay. And this, you can tell the difference between a PTC thermistor and a current starting relay due to the wire coil on the outside. And this right here, this is just a compressor protector and it has a little thermo disc inside. So this is attached to the common terminal. These right here are basically the same thing. They, they just attach right here. And if you look inside, you can just see the little disc inside. Here's another version. Once again, it would just get attached right here. So right here we have the multimeter set on resistance, and we're gonna go ahead and check inside these taps right here, which connect the start winding to the run winding. And you see that we're reading six ohms of resistance. So what's gonna happen is when this starts up, it's going to end up heating up the PTC thermistor, and it's gonna kick the circuit out. So the start winding and the run winding inside here are no longer connected. Here's another view, and inside you see that little thermistor right there, and we'll go ahead and check the resistance value of this one. See that we're reading 5.4 ohms, so that resistance value will quickly increase up once that little disc gets hot, and it gets hot anytime that the current is being drawn through it. In the case of the PTC thermistor use in the top of a start capacitor on like a hard start kit, Basically what's happening is you have the wires connected to the C and also to the Herm. So the common and the Herm, and what's going to happen is it's going to take this start capacitor out of play once a compressor starts up. So here's an example right here. So let's go ahead and check our resistance value across this. And you see that we're reading 22 ohms for this one. So once again, once this gets hot, the resistance value is going to increase and it's going to open up this circuit so this start capacitor will no longer be in play. So inside here, you can see that the, the pill type PTC is inside. I'm going to go ahead and dismantle this one right here and then we're going to go ahead and test the resistance value of the actual pill itself. So these are pretty easy to get apart. You just press down on it, turn and it just comes right apart. So these are your contacts for the side and here's your PTC thermistor. So you see we're reading 37 and a half ohms of resistance. So that will increase if this gets hot. I'm going to take a couple more resistance values. So right here, just so you have a reference point for when you're looking at these. So 37 ohms of resistance, that one is good. Here's another one. And you're never going to have zero ohms of resistance. You're always going to start off with some type of resistance value. So this is 39.5 ohms of resistance. Here's one that has multiple taps. And basically what this is, is you have two PTC thermistors inside. So we're reading 119 ohms. Now we're just reading one of the two. We're reading 66.8 ohms. And now we're reading 52.2. And if we connect this back in, we should read half of the uh, resistance value. So we're reading 29.3 ohms of resistance. So this is utilizing two, but it's getting the, the lower resistance value because there's two paths for the electricity. So we compare those resistance values to a much smaller PTC thermistor, and you see that we're reading only 5.4 ohms. Now let's see what the resistance value is when we heat it up. So we're gonna actually draw current through this in order to test it out and check its operation. So this is the inside of a PTC thermistor. It's the same, same thing, basically. So it's just one little pill type that's inside this round one right here. Now we're gonna go ahead and heat up this PTC thermistor and we're gonna see the resistance value change. But right now we don't have any voltage to this and we're reading a resistance of 33.4 ohms of resistance. We also have a temp reader attached to the side here because as the voltage is going through and the current is being drawn by the light bulb, 
our PTC thermistor is going to go ahead and heat up. When that happens, our resistance is going to increase until this ends up opening up the electrical circuit and the light bulb goes out. So in order to read this while the voltage is applied, I'm going to go ahead and turn our multimeter onto volts. And our voltage should decrease as this is running. So here we go. We're going to go ahead and turn the power on now. You see, of the 120 volts, we're actually only sending over 105 volts. And that's just due to the existing resistance of that PTC thermistor. So there we go. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the power off to this. And I'm going to go ahead and check the resistance value right here. You see that we went up to a temperature of 105 degrees. You can see we're in kilo ohms right now. And the resistance value is, is falling now that it's starting to cool down. You see it's at 200 ohms presently and it just keeps decreasing. So this is pretty hot right here, hot to the touch, 112 degrees. This is just an incandescent 60 watt light bulb and the temperature from this light bulb did not affect this. It's far enough away, it, it's not affecting that at all. So our PTC thermistor is still trying to cool down and you see the outside temperature is at 116, the inside's much hotter yet. You see we're down to 26.9 ohms, we're not powering the light bulb presently. And if you notice when we were checking the voltage reading, the voltage increased in the beginning. And that's due to the lowering resistance value in the very beginning. And then after that, the resistance value increased. So that always happens with these PTC thermistors. But in the case of a compressor, it does not take as long as it did in this case with this little 60 watt light bulb. It happens very, very quickly. And that's just due to the high inrush of current that the compressor draws. So the basics for troubleshooting these is just to go ahead and test the resistance values. And I gave you some examples of the normal sizes that we typically see out in the field. But you want to make sure that you don't have any... Um, high resistance value across this when you start, maybe due to some corrosion or something like that across the metal contacts where they connect to the PTC thermistor. They really don't go bad that often, but I just wanted you to know how they work and how to test them. If you're looking for other video playlists, I have them linked in the description section below, as well as some of the other tools I use out in the field. If you want to help support this HVACR training channel, click here. If you want to subscribe, click here. And if you want to see another HVACR training video, click right here. Hope you enjoyed yourself, and we'll see you next time at AC Service Tech Channel.